everyone, this is Lisa from the Rhinestone World and in this video we're going to take a $3 decorative item from Target and customize it using decal vinyl cut with our silhouette and a wood burner. I cut out my design. Now what's different about this is that we're going to peel out the inside to make a stencil. Typically you're going to peel everything around it and then keep your text, but what we're going to do is we're using this as a stencil, so we want to take out what we want our design to have. So I'm going to find this, and you can see even these little small lines are peeling well. That's a good reason to test your cut settings. And you can see this little tiny part came out. That's okay. We're just going to drop this down and then put this little piece back on there. And this happens a lot. If you're weeding for a decal, you can do something called reverse weeding where you pick up the whole thing with your transfer tape and then weed everything out. That way these little pieces will stay better. But this works just fine. All right, so we're all set there. Now let's grab this piece. And I have another little piece in here that might come up, so I'm going to hold it down with my weeding tool. We have it here. Let me just drop it on my hand. And this is just scrap vinyl that I'm using. Our design is weeded. Now we need to pick it up with our transfer tape. I'm going to trim off this side right here just to make it easier and now what I'm going to do I'm going to bring this over make sure I have enough space and to apply it I'm going to do a little horseshoe drop it over and then I'm going to use my scraper I can't find my scraper, so I'm going to do this. Now we're ready to apply this onto our sled. Here's my design. It's on my transfer tape. Now I need to place it onto my sled. So let's go ahead and peel up this tape. You can see that my vinyl comes up with it. And then we just want to make sure to really scrape on here, get our tape to come up. All right, so I want my text to read to the side. So I'm going to go ahead, find my placement. And the one thing that I really want to look out for is that I want the end, I want my the to be on here, and I want the ends of my letters to be on the wood. That way it'll define it. So you can see right here, it'll cut off a little bit in these areas, but overall you'll be able to see your design. You could even angle it if you want, and I think it's too late for me to do that. Yeah, that's okay. So we're going to do it this way. Really smooth it down. We're going to go ahead. Use this to scrape it. We have that there. So now we need to make an area to mark where we're going to use our wood burner. And that's where this chalk comes into play. I'm just going to go ahead and color in on here. And the chalk will fill in where we need to use our wood burner. So we really are using this as a stencil. Just make sure you get a good coverage on here. The chalk will wash off after you burn it, so you don't have to worry about you know, putting too much or damaging it. Now this is ready. I'm going to peel it up and we can see where our chalk is.
using to peel up these little sections, you don't want this vinyl to stay while you're wood burning because it will melt. So let's get this out of here. So I have my chalk stencil here. You can see the places that I need to color in. Now, if you're concerned about not seeing the areas, well, what I'm gonna do is these areas where I can't see it that well, I'm just really gonna freehand it. But if you want to make sure it stays there, you can also wet your chalk a little bit before you bring it on there. So now I'm going to let my wood burner heat up and then I'll be ready to wood burn this in. Now my, my wood burner is heated up. The tricky part about this is that because you write from left to right, you want to do this backwards actually because if I were to go this way, my hand will drag on that chalk. So I'm going to go backwards. So it gets a little bit tricky on writing backwards. Now I'm just going to take this line and trace it through. And I have the sharp tip on my wood burner. And I'm just going to follow this through the, through the whole design. I have my design burned in. You can see it looks kind of muddied and gray. That's the chalk that's mixed in with it. So I'm going to take this cleaning wipe and go over it. You can see that the design is getting darker because you don't have the white of the chalk mixed in. So we have this here. Now you can go in and burn other sections to emphasize it more. You can see it can even out in a couple places. So just let this dry a couple minutes and then you can go over it with your wood burner one more time. So you can see I have a nice burn here. There are a couple darker spots. That's kind of where my wood burner got caught in where the ridges are. So I have my wood burner warmed again and I can just go over it and get some sections darker. Kind of emphasize it. You'll get every now and then when you do your wood burner, you might miss a section just because the chalk could be mixing in with it. So it's hard to tell if you're really burning it or if you're just moving chalk around. So I'm just gonna go through darken up some sections. Alright, so I darkened up a bunch of these areas, got nice even coverage. So I could leave it this way. You could cut out some vinyl, put it on the sides, or maybe add a little bit more embellishments with your wood burner. It's kind of up to you. But this was a nice, easy project that you can do. This was just a $3 decorative item that I found at Target, but I was able to customize it, and with the wood, it gives it a nice vintage look that fits in with the whole retro-themed Christmas that we have going on a lot this year. So if you have any other questions, you can email us at info at rhinestoneworld.com. And if you want to look into any other tutorials or training opportunities, give us an email or visit our website at therhinestoneworld.com.